Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be showing us how we can prepare an invoice using Microsoft Excel, such as the one we can see right here. So let us get started. So in this blank new Excel worksheet, in this blank new Excel worksheet, let me increase it so that we can we can see it in this brand new Excel worksheet. Let's say uh, my boss tells me, Emmanuel, prepare an invoice using Microsoft Excel. The first thing I need to look at it is what is the name of the company I'm looking at. Let's say the name of the company is, is B E. I'm typing from cell B to Bello Bello Epo Petro Leon. Limited, below equal petroleum limited. So this is the name of our company. So I will bold it, and um, I might increase it a bit. So I think increase it a bit. Yeah. So I will come here and say name of company. I will come here and say name of customer. Name. Enter. I will come here and say. Come here and say contact number. Are we together? So come here and say contact number. Then I will bold this. After I finish bolding this, then can you see? I've done that. So I can't. I can't. Can come here and say invoice. Let me put the invoice here. Let me put the invoice here. Invoice. You can also board this if I want. So once I'm done, I will come here also and see invoice number. In in invoice number invoice number I'll come here and say date D A T E now we together so uh, we bold this look at it I highlight it and bold it now the next thing I need to do is to let's say enter the details let's say um, the name of this person is um, uh Denny blessing all right so let's say Denny blessing i don't know Denny blessing all right so now once i'm done with that i can come here and say let's say our number is zero eight one six nine three nine four zero one seven watch you now when you start a number with zero in excel excel will will we assume that that zero does not mean anything just like in normal mathematics when you press zero two on your calculator so excel would not show this zero excel will be showing eight as if we assume that we are trying to work with a calculation so can you see if i come back here can you see that the zero did not appear let me try to put the zero again the zero did not appear now if this thing happen what you do is that you will click on the cell look at i've clicked on it you will come to these options where you have general and the likes so you will select text you click on text that is excel should not see it as a number excel should see it as a text because if excel see it as a number you know in, in normal mathematics calculation zero is seen as a useless number when especially when zero is in the front of a number so excel should see it as a text so i'll click on text then i'll try again can you see the zero will appear sure you understand so that is how you can do that now let me increase this cell notice that any blessing spills to the other cell so i'll click on this place left click and now we drag 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 yeah now you see now they need blessing as space so so let me just board this one are we together so let's say the invoice number is two three four zero zero one and the date is let's say um twelfth of for 2022 or let me teach us a trick anyways now let us say i want to know today's date let's say i want to use today's date on my invoice i don't need to 
um what is today's date i don't know but if i type a function on excel it will return to this date watch it so just press equals to and type today t-o-d-a-y today can you see open a bracket and close a bracket don't put anything inside the bracket type equals to today open a bracket and close it but then press enter can you see can you see today is what if we check this date this is today's date this is today's date today is 4th of october 2022 can you see it now so if i want to make us know that this is 4th of october 2022 because in excel 4th represent the day this 10 represents the month but let me show us let me format it so i'll come to date and then i'll come to long date so that we can see can we see tuesday october 4th 2022 let me press enter now if you see anything like this in excel just know that because the number is large can you see the number is much the 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 the, the, the figure that is supposed to appear there is very small so we need to increase the cell so i will just double tap on it can you see tuesday 4th tuesday october 4 2022 so excel sees so there's a way excel writes date so if you want to know today's date just type equals to today i would i would me and if you want to know the time you type equals to now so there's also another one which you say equals to n o w n o w now then press enter so excel will return the dates and the time can you see this is 1008 if you check your time this is 1008 and this is the dates that we saw before that is excel is you know in nigeria we have day day month month yeah 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 but in excel 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 excel, excel writes dates as month month day day then yeah 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 so let's just all those ones um, those explanations will come later my time is up so now this is what this is these are the details that we have entered here so can you see we are gradually creating our invoice now the next thing i need to do is to enter the description let's say say the description of the goods description of the goods so can we see it now the description of the goods so description of the goods so i can just come here description of the goods so this is the description of the goods so i'll just come here highlight it um let me bold it first description of the goods so what i'll do is that i want it to be centralized so i'll just highlight this two cell i want to join these two cell together remember when i taught us march and center can you see that is i want to make this two cell this let me let me control z now you notice this is cell a7 and this is cell b7 i now want to make them to be one i've just called lepo so i will now highlight it and then march and center can you see now i've made the two cell to be one that is why you see that this green box have expand so that is what i have just you know done so the next thing i will have here is my quantity qty qty quantity and um, i have my unit unit price and then also here i have my amount so i will just highlight this and bold it as well so i like this sorry and bold it as well so quantity and unit price. let me make this one let me capitalize this one so quantity and unit price and amount so what i will do now is that i want to centralize everything so i will highlight everything and and click on center can you see i click on this place not this place so this place this place where my cursor is seen yeah so so i'll click on it then i look at it okay i say wow everything is in the center i say wow nice one so so once i'm done now you know it's notice that i merge and center cell a7 and b7 so i'm going to do the same for everything under the description merge and center merge and center merge and center merge and center there's a way i can do this thing to be fast but let me just um, follow the repetitive pattern merge and center Merge and center. Merge and center. I think it's okay. 
Yeah. So that is that. So we are done. So the next thing we need to do is to have our totals here. T O T A L total. So I will just bold this. Can you see our invoice is getting ready? Total and then there is a formula we normally use now. I want a situation whereby anything that I any number that I put from here to this place, I want Excel to add it for me. So I'll just say equals to don't forget in Excel S U M sum equals to S U M sum means hard for me. Open a bracket, then I will move my cursor here, click on this place, and look for my um, um column. In, we know column now. Column, there's column, there's semicolon, but it's column that you use. Look for it on your keyboard. Then you press. Then you press column. Then you press here. And you press enter. Another way you can do this is that you can just. Let me delete it. You can just come here and say equals to SUM. Open a bracket. Click on this place. Left click and drag it down to where you want it to add. I want it to add from cell E8. I want it to add from cell E8 to cell E14. Can you see the formula? I've already noted that. Then I will put a close bracket at the ending and say enter. Now, do you know why it is zero here? Because there's no number here. Let's just say I put 200 here. Exactly. will calculate. Let's say I put 300 here. It will calculate. Let's say I put 100 here. It will, it will keep automating. So that is that about that. Let me clear this. Control delete. So now the next thing I need to put is description of the goods. Let's say we are selling diesel. We are selling petrol. We are selling kerosene. Oh, uh, what you What you mean, me? Oh, what you So let's see the quantity. I want to buy three, five, um, four or six. Let's say six kg. And the unit price. Let's see here is four fifty. No, I don't know. Let's see here is seven hundred. Let's see here is one thousand. What happened here? Oh, sorry. There's a, I put a formula there before. So let me just say 800 or let's say 800. Yeah. So, oh, uh, let me go back. Yeah, 800. Never mind about that. So 800. So now the next thing I need to do, what is the formula for amount? Amount is quantity times unit price. So I tell you, equals to, I'll click on this cell. That is cell C8. Look at it. Cell C column. C row 8 then you look for your times which is asterisk asterisk is your times on excel so you look for your asterisk on your keyboard shift and press 8 yeah you look for asterisk this this is our asterisk sign let me see it now so then you now tap on this other one too mm. so we are saying cell c8 multiply by d8 don't use your normal x use your asterisk on your keyboard so you press enter now can you see this total have already calculated automatically for us so we can just easily underline this total and put it as underline so i just come here and i go to the formatting here underline underline so that we you know that so we can come here click we left click so once we come here come to this place go to the edge of this box left click and drag down to where we want it to fill so if you if you add any number here it will keep on automating let's say we have diesel petrol kerosene gas Let's say we want to add gas. So we want to add gas. Let's say we have we want to buy three kg for let's say is it nine hundred now. So enter and you see to calculate nine three times. Um, now that is two seven. So now let me make this more you know interesting. So I'll just come here. Now I'm not supposed to even put this here. Control C. Let me copy this and Control V. So let me delete this. Yeah, so let me control C and control V. I'm supposed to put this here in the first place. So now what I will do is that I will uh, now I want to make this thing to be you know a little bit more uh more beautiful. So I will click on here. I've told you highlight it, highlight the whole cell and click on margin center so that it will be at the center. Can we see? So click here to and margin center. You see that way it looks more you know it looks more beautiful. So I would let me insert a cell here so that we can see everything so whenever you maybe you need more space more cell in Excel you can just right click here 
and click on insert so control z so insert so i insert it so that we can see you can see what is here so now what i will just do right now is that i will just um come here i will come here and highlight here and come to this place that is there is border and say all border so can we see i'll come here to highlight here and say all border i just highlight it so the same thing come here highlight here and say all border can we see it now so i forget to merge and center here let me merge and center so that let me merge and center this place so yeah so there you have it so i've been able to total this one and for a shortcut let, let's not go there sure. but i've been able to add this one i believe we understand so i can you know make it more i can make it more beautiful by maybe giving this a color let me give it a color let's say i want to use this color i want to use this color i want to use this Yes, I want to use this color you highlight it and come to this bucket this place that is bucket can we see so um, I will come here to highlight it and give it this color I'll come here to highlight it and give it this color so here too I can come here give it this color if I want but let me just make it red let's make let's change the text i like here and click on this a so to change the color to red and if you do not like red you can just click on here let's say i want to change it to this is red this is a uh, blue let's say i want to change it to blue i can put it as blue but me i love red so come here change it to red click on this cell click on change it to red whichever color you want to my people so make it red come here you make it red all right so let me make this one bold too let me say b so let me make this one bold click here and uh, one to z enter so let me come here and bold this place so we are done now some of you may be wondering yeah can you see it's almost similar some of you may be wondering how did all these um sorry how did all these grid lines you notice all these things they are called grid lines all these small small box i want you to disappear just come to view yeah and see this this is grid line so just off it everything will be pure white can we see it now so everything will just be pure white let me increase this invoice a bit so that it looks more you know more nice so this is that about that so I'll just come here. Let me make this thing more. Let me let me insert another cell here to make it more interesting. So I'll come here. Let me let me insert another. You can always insert cells. So nothing spoil. Insert. So let me reduce this so that we can we can see. So I'll just come here. I like this and um, you know and give it let me give it a thick border so that it will look more beautiful so thick outside border look at what i use i click on here this time around instead of me to use all border can we say i'll use thick outside but i want the framework to be thick just like when you want to do um when you want to when you, when you snap a photo i want to put it in a frame so thick outside border at least i want the, the i want this place that i have uh, highlighted i want the outside to be thick so I'll say tick outside border. Now if I step away, can we see? It's a tick outside border. So there you have it. So this is my so this is how you can calculate invoice. This is how you can prepare rather invoice on Microsoft Excel. Now some of you may be thinking, okay, we can do this on Microsoft Word. The difference between Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel is that you see all these calculations that are here, they are formulas here. They will be automated automatically. You can always use it at any time. Come to your file and say print. So when you come to your file and say print you can select you know this this is not looking nice it is the print preview this place right here is the print preview so you can come to this place where you have letter and say a4 a4 paper and um, come here and say white 
yeah okay i don't know why it's not working but okay there's something we can do we can let me reduce this a little bit i'm just showing also in case we want to print I'm just it's not part of the videos anyway so if it does not work there's also another tactics we can use don't worry print so oh it didn't work my fault so what i will do is that i will come here i will come to this place this place come to view yeah when you come to view go to page break go to page break preview so when you go to page preview can you see you can click on this blue line here and drag it so can you see it's showing one page meaning that you can also drag this one here so meaning that if we go back now let's go to our home um, file let's go to print can we see it is showing yeah so it's showing nice that we can go ahead and print it so that is how you can you can do that so let me just say escape let me just come to uh, this place and go to normal view yeah so that there you have it so thank you for watching this video if you are new to this channel kindly please subscribe to this channel as i have more video content like this to upload thank you and god bless you